his powers are not a gift, but a curse. Born out of rage. On this edition of Talking About the Movies, Dwayne Johnson stars as Black Adam. Welcome to another edition of Talking About the Movies. Yes, I know it's been a couple of weeks. I know that there was a couple of movies I said I was going to do on this show that I never got around to. I didn't get a chance to do The Woman King. I didn't get a chance to do Don't Worry Darling. I didn't even get a chance to do some of these movies that have been out already, like Bullet Train or Minions The Rise of Gru. Some of these movies that I wanted to talk about on here. Other things just got in the way, unfortunately. But um, I'm here now. And you knew that this movie was big enough that I couldn't resist not doing a, sh a review for this. So um, that's why I haven't gone. I haven't done this for the last couple of weeks, I should say. But um, here we are now, and let's talk about this movie, Black Adam. Dwayne Johnson, of course, stars in this movie. Uh, this is a film that honestly had been in development for the longest time. Like Dwayne Johnson, I think, was cast back in this in 2007. And the fact of the matter is this movie has been so has been in production for so long and there's so much riding on this because of everything that's going on not just in the DC extended universe but also what's going on at Warner Brothers because of what everything that's going on with David Zaslav and uh, his amazing start to his ca career as the head of that studio because I say amazing but it's not really that amazing but um there was a lot of writing on this movie and you could tell that because Dwayne Johnson was all over the advertising for this movie he the, the, the trailer for this first came out during the NBA Finals back in 2021. And then the last couple of months, and he's been all over the place promoting this movie and showing up in costume as Black Adam. And just this past week, if you've been watching NFL football, you couldn't go to any of the three major networks without seeing him on there promoting the promoting Black Adam, start talking about these games. He was, I mean, seriously, he was on Fox at one point. He was on CBS. There's NFL coverage. He was on ESPN. I mean... He's putting a lot into this movie because he does. Because that's the thing about Dwayne Johnson. He does believe in a lot of these projects he's involved in, and he's such a likable personality. That's one of the great things about him. He's always that guy, guy that he usually can never turn in a really bad performance because you can tell that he's putting all of his energy into it, and he puts all of his effort into making these movies the the, the successes that they are. And he's proven to have a good, he's got a loyal fan base built in him. And I'm one of those fans. I really like his work. I, like, not every movie he's made has been great, but he does put his effort into it, and he does have this following that people do relate to him a little... Excuse me. does relate to him a whole lot, but... Yeah, everyone really likes what this guy has been able to do. It, so with that said, there was a lot going into this movie, and you also had the caveat of what the DCEU was tr is trying to do, because there's still... There's still an idea... There's still not a real idea of what kind of a what kind of direction they want to go in because ever since they started this it started off as like let's cut that let's cut half the time that the mcu put together and make our own movies and that didn't work out so well we didn't get a, a lot of the movies they put out at the start were not very good um but then they get these then they get these little gems like the first wonder woman movie is a great film uh the first aquaman movie was a great film shazam um in my opinion the joss whedon justice league but that's another story altogether but um um, I don't even like that movie a whole lot. I just thought it, it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Plus, um, plus uh, I've never seen a Zack Snyder cut, nor will I ever. So, uh, let's get back to the subject at, the, at hand here. But like I said, Shazam, uh, Aquaman, uh, Joker, which is not really part of the DCEU, but it showed what they were able to do with it. It shows what they were able to do with these char different characters in their own specific films. Uh, Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey, and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn was a great film. Uh, James Gunn's The Suicide Squad was a great film. And so there's a lot here that... Oh, and The Batman, of course, the, my favorite movie of the year so far. So with this movie, there was a lo there's a lot going on here because this is supposed to start a new phase of this, of this DCEU as they're still trying to figure out what they're going to do with this is with this with these films moving forward and especially considering how Warner Brothers has kind of screwed everything over with some of the decisions they've made it's really hard to tell what direction they're going here and sadly the movie de this movie here definitely shows a lot of those problems in, at hand I'll say this it's not a bad movie it's not a bad movie whatsoever 
again, help, help by the fact that Dwayne Johnson does a pretty good job playing this character, Black Adam. Uh, Pierce Brosnan is in this movie. He does a very good job playing Dr. Fate. Um, uh, some of the visuals look pretty impressive. Um, to me, the problems start to go into play when you start seeing these cameos coming into play here. We got all these different superheroes. They're introducing the Justice Society of America into this. You've got Hawkman in here, played by Aldous Hodge, Adam Smasher, Sabek, Cyclone. And then, to top that off, you bring in these other characters from other movies, like you have Jaiman Hansu reprising his role as Shazam. You have Viola Davis back as Amanda Waller. Uh, Jennifer Holland reprises her character from The Suicide Squad and Peacemaker. And then, spoiler alert here, the biggest cameo in the movie at the very end of the film is Henry Cavill coming back as Superman, which... If you've seen my early reviews of the of those movies with Henry Cavill, you know that I'm probably not the I'm not the biggest fan of Cavill as Superman. I will admit he's grown on me as an actor. I've always thought he was kind of like a plank of wood, especially when he played Superman. Like Superman is supposed to have some charisma to him, and Cavill just doesn't have that whatsoever. That's one of the things that really bugs me about his Superman. But as I've said, I've grown to like him more as an actor. I've seen him in a lot of good stuff. I've seen him in The Witcher. He's very good there. He can be a very good. He can be a very good actor, but I really don't know how to feel about them bringing him back as Superman. It feels like they're just trying to recycle the the universe that wasn't working before. Because not only do you have this, but you also have. The Flash movie with Ezra Miller still moving forward, even though Ezra Miller's in a whole lot of criminal trouble right now. Amber Heard just came off of that big farce of a courtroom case with Johnny De Depp. She's still in the Aquaman movie. And it just feels like Warner Brothers isn't even doing anything to... isn't doing any like damage control here. They're just moving on as they go forward. And... To me, that's kind of a red flag going into this because I'm afraid they're going back to what I hated about the original DCU movies, and that's that they're just building everything up for something that's not going to live up to the potential and height that it could have been. But um, it not only that, this film does ha have a lot of those fl fl flaws of a very bad movie, of a very bad DCU movie. Like the script is not really all that well written. It is kind of formulaic. Some of the action sequences in here. Sometimes they can look really good, but other times, not so much. There's times where the CG obviously looks pretty fake, but there are other times when it could look pretty good. It's the, it's a very mixed bag, and another DC movie with a very lackluster villain in this. There's not a very good villain in this whatsoever, and he's not so bad as some of the, he's not as bad as some of the worst villains in the DCU. Like to me, one of the worst ones, at least to me, was Doomsday and Batman v Superman, and then. At the that pointless ten minute bonus climax they put at the end of the first Wonder Woman movie, those were those were bad villains. Pedro Pascal and Wonder Woman 1984, on that matter. I mean, it's hard to make a good DCU villain, but then again, most of the MCU villains are not really all that good either. Like, so it's, I shouldn't even say not that good, but just not they're just not as exciting as some of the best villains in those movies. But um, yeah, so. Overall, I don't hate this movie, but I didn't come out of it really optimistic about where DC was going here. I mean, the only person I saw really putting an effort into this was Pierce Brosnan, who was, like I said, was great as Dr. Fate, and uh, Dwayne Johnson, who you knew that he was going to put a lot of effort into this, and because his name was all over this, he's one of the producers, he, put, he did all this advertising for it, like, you know that he's committed to this. And I want to see what he can do with this. Like I, like I know that he and Shazam, Zachary Levi's Shazam, are connected in the comics, and maybe they're going to meet up in another mo in a movie coming up. But I want to see what I want to see what they can do with that. Them po them teasing this idea of a Superman Black Adam crossover. I don't know. Like that's still that's still something that I really that's still something I really don't know how to feel about just yet. But um. As you can see, I'm very conflicted on this movie. I don't hate it, but there's nothing about it that makes me say I like it. I mean, other than Johnson and Bronson, and so, other than some of the action sequences here, it's kind of a mediocre formulaic DC film. Like, it's a movie that I try to get invested into, but there's just nothing there that's really... There's nothing in there that's really exciting about this movie, and that it just, tr it just tries a little too... It's, it's not. Tr I don't think it's trying too hard enough to really do something completely different to make people get excited about what this DC 
universe now post WB Discovery can re can really become. But um, so overall, I don't hate this movie, but it's not one that I really I really like in particular. I'm just kind of in the middle of. If I could like maybe if I could put a grip. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on the when I do the editing for this, but I would like to do like kind of a middling meh thumb like a thumb thing here. But if not, if I'm going to be honest with it, I would give it a marginal thumbs down on it just because I don't think they, despite by Dwayne Johnson's best efforts, despite Pierce Brosnan's best best efforts, the rest of the movie is just kind of mediocre. Like there's nothing about it that really excited me. There's nothing about it that really made me go like this is the best thing they've done. It's just kind of there. There's just nothing really that investing about this movie to me. And that's kind of a shame because so much potential really was going into the, this. But overall, it's there is some potential there, but it's not as much as I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought more effort was going to be put into it. But for what it is, it's kind of mediocre. So if I can't do the middle, it's the thumb in the middle thing, it's going to be a thumbs down on this one for me. So... That's my thoughts on Black Adam. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I know some people that I've seen actually do kind of enjoy the movie, but they do admit that there are flaws to it. And, um, I mean, that's probably going to be the case for this. I mean, some people are very optimistic. I'm just kind of like, okay, that was something, but who knows? Maybe this is it. Maybe this is something that the DCEU needed to do. This is something that maybe they needed to get going as we keep going with these new movies under this new regime that's going to be taking place here. But, uh, like I said, as it is, it's nothing really all that special to me. And it, I'm only giving it a marginal thumbs down because the worst stuff in there that I like, but it's not enough for me to turn my rec turn it into a recommendation. So that's my thoughts on Black Adam. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And um, I think the next time I do one of these, it's going to be for another move, another superhero movie with Black in the title, Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. So, so I'll see you guys for that one. But until then, let me know what you guys thought of this and this movie and. I will see you guys next time, so until then, take care.